Hey guys, and welcome to a, another Minecraft video. Which today we're going to be doing something I have attempted for a um, very long time to actually finally do. And, uh, yeah. What we will be doing in today's video is not really a let's play thing or anything like that. Though, in a way it kind of is. But it really isn't. Today, will we... We will be taking a look at some old Let's Play worlds from uh, old Let's Plays. Some of them, I don't know if they're on my channel or not. One of them, I don't think is. And I will cross that bridge when we get to it, because that has a kind of funny story to it. But, yeah. So, moving on. Let's actually get into the meat of this. I have uh, pre-backed these up, so I don't need to worry about that. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I went through and backed them up all beforehand because if you click backup and load, it can sometimes freeze the game on the uh, backup thing. So what we're starting off with here is if this is actually ever going to load. Uh, what we're starting off with is my 1.12 Let's Play that I started on Confined to Minecraft topic. Because it was a um, 1.12 had just came out and I hadn't really done anything. And at that time, I don't think there were too many how to survive your first night stuff on at that point for the newest update. So I decided to start it off like that. And after the first three episodes, I think, I moved it on to your typical Let's Play. And, uh, ooh, a little bit of lag. But that's expected, loading this world up for the first time in this uh, version. But, yeah. So I started off like that, and then I kind of disappeared off YouTube on Minecraft Topic, as I do. Because I just wasn't feeling very great. Um, stuff had actually happened in my actual life at that point, and wasn't doing too great uh, mental state-wise. So I disappeared, and... Uh, I just recorded a, a, a video, just randomly, and um, as a proof of concept to myself, because at Wells Knighton, I believe Waddles had just came about at that point, but I uh, was watching a lot of Wells Knight Kingdoms stuff, and so, as you know, that's highly edited content. So, just as a proof of concept that I could do that. I made this little mock-up, and it was just something for me to see if I could actually do that. You know, test the waters. And I did it. I, I could do that kind of thing. So, I think it was around episode... It was episode three, I know, when I kind of quit making the series. And I believe it was episode four or five when I came back with the new style of content. And it wasn't too big of a change. I didn't go full dive right off the bat. But. It, it was different. And. Uh, it was actually doing well. Funny enough. That series went backwards. As to how most does. Was most of the series. You, your, the majority of your views. Comes from episode one. <laughs> On that. I think. I think the actual peak of the series was somewhere in the middle around 8 or between 8 and 12. So it actually peaked toward the end. I really need to get a pop filter <laughs> for this mic. But yeah, so this is our starter house. I never really changed it and uh, by my standards today it's actually kind of a uh, crappy design. But that's before I started implying a lot of uh, building techniques that I learned from Wells Knight, so. Yeah. And of course, my this, this iteration of the resource pack did not exist back then. I had just switched from using a lot of Dalsy's Faithful elements in it. So the iteration that we know today did not exist. 
but a modded version of the faithful did and I used it quite a lot but what we know today did not so I believe the first build I actually did but if you want to get technical the actual first build I did was this the second was I had a mod cod auto fish in and this was originally where my semi AFK fish farm was <laughs> and it, it was a really good farm but um, I quickly ran into an issue when I started mining that I didn't really have enough chest space to store a bunch of stuff ouch so even with all this that's where my enchanting table was originally at by the way even with all that so I had to build a storage room and this was it hands down probably one of the best storage rooms I have ever built in my entire Minecraft career and I don't mean that as being famous or anything like that but as in playing Minecraft this is the best storage room I've probably ever built one of the things I hate about it though is because I use these item frames if you misclick you click this and you just keep rotating it every time you do that so annoying but yet yeah, was this and then I expanded out I think that was the second this may have been act the actual first or second build I built but it's a uh, tree farm which I know better now that you can just chop a forest down and replant it repeatedly which is what I do now but at this point I hadn't thought about that because I have a I had a habit of chopping a forest down then not replanting it so back then I was still used to 1.8 and 1.7 I was kind of from that old school era still am I still love that kind of stuff but <clears throat> In a lot of people's eyes, this would not be pretty. So. But it was well lit. You gotta give it that. Very well lit. Also, the glass was a nice touch. I could have used any other block. But the glass... The glass is probably the nicest part. And, yeah. But yeah, this is where a lot of the wood that I used in this came from. All of it, actually, except dark oak. Because, of course, there's a dark oak forest over there, and I'm not too terribly concerned about that disappearing because there's a lot of it. But these two are in competition for the first. This I don't really count. This is build zero, what started it all. This is... It's a whichever. It's a battle between these two, of which is actually first. So you come through here. This is. I know this is definitively the third build I built. Let's shut that because that's ugly back there. This is my auto smelter room. And today, I would probably. If I were building this today, I'd probably do the same thing, if that makes any sense. Except instead of these two being regular furnaces, these would be um, a blast furnace and a smoker. I don't know, the design of this room's kind of uh, nice. That's the only way I can describe it. Yeah, I like that. How this kind of just blends into the wall, that's nice. Then the anvils, because I was doing a lot of this stuff with enchanting. So. And believe it or not, I never actually broke an anvil. Never. But yeah. Um. Okay. So, fourth build. I had a chicken farm. It was originally on the surface. I moved it down here. But basically how this thing works is you collect all the eggs... And believe me, these guys lay a lot of eggs. Originally, there were hoppers here. Where it funneled them all into one. But I kind of got rid of that design after a while. Just because it, it wasn't too terribly intuitive. But basically, what I do is divide the stacks like this between the two chests, which have hoppers underneath of them. Which has a uh, dispenser. 
which throws the eggs at a wall, and this is recessed into the floor. That way, when the chickens spawn, they fall down and don't get pelted with eggs to death. Because I do, I do believe eggs actually do damage. So a baby chicken, that would kill very easily. And then this is my emergency egg collector in case something happened to all the chickens in the farm. Which, the most likely thing to happen would, uh, the world would corrupt and delete all the mobs. That did happen when you would um, convert between updates. It wouldn't corrupt the world, but it would just get rid of every mob in your farm. So, yeah. Which, this didn't really make any sense, because if that happened to them, most likely the chickens in the egg collector would disappear too. But my thought was, I guess, at least I'd have enough eggs to spawn more. So, yeah, that's kind of how that one works. Okay, now over here, this... In the actual world download I did for episode 10, because I've never had a series get that far. <laughs> and funny enough, this is the only one that ever got that far. Yeah, it is. So I did a special world download for anyone who may want it. At that point, this had not yet even been started. There was just a door here with a sign for my plans for it. So, I completed it around episode 11, I believe. Episode 11 or 12. And, uh, moved my enchanting table over here so it didn't... Uh, it it's kind of ugling up my basement, and I wanted to kind of only use that to sleep because I didn't like the house in the first place. In fact, I believe my plan was to either redo it or tear it down and move. I believe my plan was to just tear it down and start over from scratch entirely, so. That never came to be, so. Here we are. With this. And so I moved my stuff, enchanting stuff, over here. I didn't quite yet have uh, brewing stuff. I believe that came later. I'm not really sure when I entered the nether, to be honest. And here's my small pile of lapis in here. Which today I would put this over here, or back here. But I, I definitely wouldn't just leave it sitting there. It uh, makes it look like this is a chest for this stuff, but it's clearly not. Okay, let's close these doors, because it makes the hallway look better. Great hall design. Very three. To, it has a lot of three-dimensional aspects. Um, I remember when I designed this room, I actually designed it with a uh, friend over, who was playing something on Police, PlayStation 3. I believe he was playing Twisted Metal. But he was doing that, and I had him in for commentary. And uh, I designed this room while doing whilst doing that, and I was so proud of it. Still am. It's a nice design, especially this back wall back here in the hallway. Probably my favorite, favorite thing about this room. But yeah, it, it's just nice. Yeah. Yep. Okay, storage room done. Now, everything over here is fairly explainable. This was a farm. It is no more. I just never got around to actually taking and getting rid of this chest and uprooting all that and filling it in. My uh, cow farm, which, funny enough, there was actually a glitch where if you had too many in there, they would actually phase through the fence and get out. So if you wonder why I have a bunch of random cows, that is what happened. They, they phased through the fences and got out. That glitch used to annoy the crap out of me. And honestly, I've played this world newer versions, not this exact copy of it, but other copies of it. And that still happens. I'm thinking it's just because... I'm thinking the fences were glitched, and it's because they were placed in that version that it still happened, so I need to replace all of them, which would be a royal pain. But I digress. Over here, small, modest nether wart farm. It's covered all my needs. Which is basically zero. Because I, I never used potions or anything in this world. I didn't really get to that point where I would need potions. 
as far as I know, I had no plans on defeating the Ender Dragon, so I don't think I was in any hurry. My uh, sugarcane farm, which used to be over here, but I moved it. Kind of cool. I believe this was the first build I built over in this area. I did it as a last minute thing in a video. And it turned out pretty darn well. In fact, this is one of the best views of this area. And actually, one reason why I hate the tree farm. Oh, crap, lag spike. It, it blocks the view of my house. And basically all the land over in that area. So if I ever played in this again, for a Let's Play, say a Season 2, I'm stripping all that out. That needs to go. Yeah. Maybe actually plant a full forest there and maybe expand the village that's behind me. I don't know. Oh yeah, my secret sugarcane chest. Huh. <laughs> I forgot about that, to be honest. Yeah. As you can see over here, we have a small modest village. I got, like I said, I was inspired by Wells Knight. That's where I got the idea for this. But yeah. This, after 1.14, would actually have a pretty good use, actually. That could, that could actually serve as a villager breeder. And you'd have your uh, market stalls in these houses. Which I actually have a good design for. So, yeah, these could actually have a purpose. And that's fairly nice to know. Actually, I, I, do these have beds in them? Uh, oh. I have taken damage from doing that so many times. But yeah, there's two roads. They One goes up by this tower. The other one goes over here by the farm. One goes directly by the tower to the center. This one just goes uh, to the houses. Do these have beds in them? No. Sadly, they do not. But a way you could use these houses if you want this world, which I may put it up for download again since media fire cleared, is you get your villager and you leave them in the minecart. You place a half slab. This only works on Java. You crouch and you can go up and over the half slab, but the villager cannot. So that's how you do that, because of technically crawling, but that's how you would do that. And also, if a zombie breaks down the door, then the zombie can't get over it to harm the villager. So There's a good idea I actually put to use in one of the worlds I will show off. God, this first one's taking forever. I have a lot of memories with this. Possibly my favorite Let's Play I ever did. Um, City Hall, or the... the Lord of the Village's house. So. This is where your landlord would live. In fact, it's a fairly nice house. I should have moved here from that crap shack over there. <laughs> At least then I'd have a nice view. The view of the tree farm would be kind of obstructed by the rest of the village. Yeah, here's the leftover supplies from this project. And the bed. Because I didn't have time to run back and forth. And, uh, this is my guard tower. Oh, there's the ladder. <laughs> Which, nice view. Really nice view from up here of, uh, untouched terrain. The waterfall. That was probably the best feature. Probably my favorite. Just runs through, comes out over here. There's a cave I marked to explore, and actually did explore it in a video, then I deleted the video because I didn't like how it turned out. And that was the last episode I recorded of this, before I just said, oh, screw it, I've got too much going on in my life right now, I'll come back at a different time. Which is legit what happened with this world. So, yeah. And actually, on the actual copy... When I converted this to 1.13, this chunk here regenerated. So, ha like from this point to about over there, it didn't exist anymore because these chunks here regenerated. 
and it made me so mad. <laughs> so, yeah. This is a backup before I did that when I was going to start recording it again. It never did. So, there you go. There's this tour world, and, uh, yeah. I'm going to cut to the next one. I shall see you there. All right, guys, and uh, this is my uh, world for 1.13 that I uh, did for a little while. And uh, this was actually on the Confined 268 One channel. Still is. But this is basically the product of uh, what happens when you get excuse me too excited and record a bunch of episodes without ever really doing anything and don't get me wrong I did a lot the last episode I recorded that was never released as I started work on that there castle and it is a nice 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 castle but wasn't meant to be I guess but over here we have all of our mining resources. I did do quite a bit of off-camera work. Not as much as I would have liked. I would have liked to add diamond armor and had three stacks of 64 diamonds. But, well, it didn't happen. <laughs> but, as you can see, we are fairly well off. Not even sure how I got mending on these. This is the Let's Play I don't remember too terribly much about. Like the one in 1.12, I honestly... This one just wasn't very memorable for me. You know, I think it's just because I just didn't really have much fun with it, to be honest. So, that's probably why it ended the way it did. Can't really say. But I have furnaces here. And to be honest... The series was great. It had great interaction. Just not really sure why I didn't do more with it. Uh, my supplies for the Comet of the Day haul, which now I see is a stupid idea. Because <laughs> if the series had blown up, this would have been a huge build. I was planning on doing it underground, but still, God. The never-ending build. My monument to the pink sheep. Yeah, I can't forget that. My farm. Which all the stuff's over here. First time I ever did a randomly shaped farm. Right there. There it is. I don't know why I did this, because this started when 1.13 came out. And this, you could just put a half slab down there, or stairs. And then have a uh, fence on top of and place a torch on that. I don't know why I didn't do that. It would have been so much smarter guess I didn't read the change log or anything like that. Just, just stupid. So, uh, these are the people that commented on the videos I was doing. Comment of the day at this point. Toaster Boy, who actually followed me on Twitter. Thank you. Thanks lightly. Hi. I, I, by the way, I was not reading the sign. I actually was saying hi if they still watch. And then Cynical Tim, who I actually followed. Or subscribe to add some cool content and uh, if you go there you're, you're not gonna see the same videos I saw I'm just gonna say that <laughs> yeah I deleted a bunch of his old older YouTube stuff like 2000 or something like that he enjoys twitch more than YouTube so can't blame him for that you get a lot more interaction that way but me, I, I'm a stick to YouTube. I, I I like editing. I like streaming too, but I, I like doing that where my uh, audience is currently. Even though it's not that big, and that's the reason I don't want to move and have to do that all over again. Plus, I lo okay. I, I'm 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 lying out my ass here. <laughs> I I lost my original Twitch account because I lost the password to it. So. Yeah, I, d I don't want to stream on Confined 268 too. That's my real reason. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
One of the smarter things I do with my strip mine. Bed. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this place is pretty well established. Whew. Trash can. Of course, because you, you've got to have one. Just don't accidentally throw your diamond sword. And one of the few times I actually used these furnaces, I guess, was in this world. I always put furnaces in my storage rooms in these and ne then never use them. Brick? Why the hell is there brick down here? I'm confused. And, and this is my world. Okay, I know why that's here. This organization makes no sense. Okay, I'm out. I'm out before I hurt my brain more. <laughs> Trying to figure my past self out. Ooh. So this is where I got the fences from. <laughs> uh. Yeah, by the way, abandoned mine shafts are great places to uh, find fences, rails... amongst the ores and loot that you get from the chest so if you don't want to craft fences find an abandoned mine shaft you'll have plenty oh yeah my cow farm my tree farm because I still hadn't learned at this point that there's a forest there you can just chop and replant okay I, I'm back but yeah I still hadn't learned that you can just chop and replant Especially having the offhand makes it easier, so. But where we're going now is a, um, place and something I'm gonna show you that you shouldn't do unless you have to early game. I can understand doing this early game, but late game it makes literally no sense. And as you can see, I'm fairly late game. I can tell you, I have been to the nether in this world. In fact, I think it was episode 3 or 4 I went to the nether, so... What we have here is a kill room for a zombie spawner or XP farm. And what I used to do is I'd use the old water sign technique and go up 20 or so blocks and then drop them. That way they're one hit kill with a stone sword and just do that. But 1.6 or 1.13 kind of broke that, so. And I didn't know about bubble columns at this point, so. Yeah. But if you can, do a bubble column. So much easier. And plus, you won't be crafting a lot of stone swords. So, yeah. Just just do a bubble column. It's so much easier. As far as caves go, this place has a lot of them. I don't think I explored all of them. Do I have cheats on? Slash game mode. Okay, let's go into spectator. Okay, so I did a fair bit of spelunking. As expected for being early on. Huh. Yep. Okay. Did I actually get the loot? No? Huh. Wonder why I'd just leave melon seeds. Okay, I plan apparently I was planning to use that for something I never did. I can understand that. Alright. So, um, and yeah. About this, I used an old technique called, uh, going on mine atlas and finding villages. And, uh... <laughs> Why am I doing that? I I forgot I can just do that. So much easier. I just use the uh, thing where you go on Mine Atlas and find a bunch of villages, note the write the coordinates down in a notebook, and just go to those and get books that way. By the way, this no longer is ver this no longer is efficient. If you want to use that technique, go find a stronghold. But if you want to get it done super fast, just build a cow crusher or a cow farm. So much easier. But yeah, as you can see, I was uh, gearing up for the uh, Ender Dragon. 
I wanted him to know that uh, he would soon be uh, finished, I guess. And also, it should be noted, this is when it became well known that you could uh, go into your fo your uh, level dot dat and edit your attrib your attributes so that you could uh, spam click. And I did do this, so I figured out that if you exited an exited another portal, it reset it, and if you died, it reset it. So, <sighs> so they added this flash attribute command. Which allows you to do it with a data pack. So yeah. But I will see you guys in the next Let's Play world. Okay guys. So uh. This is one that I don't know why it's not on YouTube. I honestly don't know. So. I know I did record for it. So I just don't know why it's not there. <laughs> I can't. E I don't even think I can find it in Creator Studio. So I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if I just recorded a bunch and then never released it or something stupid like that. But yeah, it's not there. But I did do a lot of work, have done, and yeah. I am armed to the teeth in this world. But this, uh, this was a handpicked seed by me. I'm uh, not exactly handpicked personally by me, but it was picked by me. It was a uh, from a, on a seed list of seeds with a village fairly close to spawn, and just happened to have the added benefit of there being a shipwreck somewhere around here. Where was it? Maybe I tore it out. Oh, yeah, there's the buried treasure I lost my mind looking for. <laughs> Thing was driving me mad. I couldn't find it. What's this? Oh, it's the beginning of a cow crusher. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, my nether portal? random but yeah there was a shipwreck somewhere around here I don't know where it's at oh yeah I recreated this world yeah I did a recreate so I had a uh, creative copy to help me look for stuff so instead of using mine atlas I actually just had a creative copy and the shipwreck in that spawned in a completely different spot than it did in the actual Let's Play world. It spawned, like, somewhere over here. I'm not sure where the actual shipwreck is on this. So, yeah. I can't remember why I needed that creative copy, because I'm pretty sure I found wh where the dungeon was. Or the uh, XP farm I built. But let me just say... This, I believe, yeah, it's locked in hard. I died so many times. So many deaths. Especially right over here. I died over here like three times. W? W? <laughs> That's just me being a troll there. But yeah, th this is a backup copy before the Let's Play ended. I will explain what ended it. No, I didn't find this. Okay. I did use the creative copy to get the coordinates for this then. Oh. Oh, this is so nice. I forgot about this. Oh. My god. Where did the episodes go for this? Oh, I need to do this on the new Let's Play whenever I find a spawner. Wait, I did find a spawner, I think. No, I didn't. No, I haven't. Did I? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Oh, yeah, and here's the um, here's the uh, actual 
Bonner room acts. Yoink. <laughs> I could have used those many a time. It's oh, probably one of the nicest kill rooms I have ever built. Ever. This area is ugly, but down there, ooh, ooh, that's amazing. I don't think there's any way I would have had the patience to actually uh, beautify this. But yeah, you can see over here where I dug down to it initially. So I don't. I could have swore I blocked all, that all up. So I, bah. Be, be it as it might, I remember this cave. I died down here. Like, literally right there once. Oh. But this is a uh, copy before it ended. And I... Actually, there's two reasons... That, no, this isn't a copy. This is after I got my tools back. Basically, what happened was... One thing that made me mad was that partially led to this series ending was I, I died and lost everything. All my nice enchanted tools. It was gone. I didn't handle that very well in the slightest. So, I didn't record for about two weeks. Came back. And started recording again. Or started doing work in the world. I did some off-camera work. Um, that still confuses me to this day. <laughs> so I did a bunch of off-camera work. By the way, it should be noted. This is what I was explaining about with the villagers. How if you want to have them protected, just uh, have, a say, an iron door. Put the slab there. Then you can just crouch over it like that. Easy access, they can't get out. And they're safe. If you've noticed, all the villagers here are dead. And that librarian and a random farmer I used to make emeralds are the last two villagers left. <laughs> and there's only a few houses that still don't have doors because I've replaced a bunch of the doors. Because they got knocked off. So yeah, this one. Yeah, see, here's how I started doing it. Boom. Yeah. Actually, did I put all? Did I put the doors back. Nope. There's one creeper blow up there. I placed the door back, and then it got broke off again. But yeah. Zombie raid happened while I wasn't here, and a bunch of villagers died. It happened fairly early on. I at least I had four at one point. The other two died somehow. Not somehow. I know how it happened. It was zombies. So now I only have two left, and they're permanently locked in their houses, never allowed out. Because if they do get out, they're dead. 100% dead. But over here, here's why I quit recording on this world and why I just to start to start a new Let's Play, which is the one I'm going to show after this. Is I felt like I had done a bit too much work off camera that it just wouldn't feel right recording in the world again. And basically, I built all of this off camera. Every bit of it. Yeah. This was my money farm. And believe me, I got a lot of money from this. Hey, a lot of money from it, actually. Wheat, carrots, pumpkins. Is there, I don't think there's melons over here, is there? Let's see. Pumpkin, okay. So, no. I should have planted melons, but I didn't. And, ooh, iron. But yeah. 
and farming trees which I put this over here because it actually was viable to do that over here since I just AFK over here Ooh. okay enough looking at that and then this so I could just AFK here for hours harvest the farms put the spoils in the chest replant and AFK again but yeah this one got discontinued because I felt like I had done too much off camera and not, not enough on even though judging from that room over there that was clearly a lie I just didn't feel like recording in it anymore <clears throat> and also at one point I died and lost everything I uh, died running away from a witch and a skeleton shot me and when I was back going back to retrieve my stuff a creeper blew me up a second time and all my stuff with me but I wasn't quite to it yet and it dropped from a ledge above and blew all my stuff up and I rage quit <coughs> well that could have been cool but it wasn't <laughs> Now, on to the next world. Alright, so, uh, this is the most recent Let's Play other than the one that's currently airing right now. This, I'm just rearranging my hotbar. Don't know why I'm doing this, because I have no plans to play in this, but... This is the predecessor to the Let's Play that's currently going on. It was in 1.15, and I didn't I didn't get bored of this one or feel like I did too much off camera like I did the last one. That's not what happened with it. I just lost the urge to do anything recording-wise, and so that kind of essentially killed it. Oh, is that my first? Yep, that's my first pickaxe. Yeah. As a start to a let's play, this took off. This this was a really good start. I mean, look at all those potatoes. Whoa. Oh, yeah, because I have that farm right there. That's why. Yeah, this had a really good start to it. Um. And it, this was only two episodes, plus a few live streams. Wow. And Enderpearl. We did a lot of adventuring on this. In fact, this is a hundred and something megabytes, I believe. I believe I got coordinates to a stronghold and then went there to get books. Oh, oh. crap. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I don't use shields too often. And then, comment of the day again. Ooh. Yep. My, uh... Okay, come on, door. You're gonna let me in now. My AFK fish farm, which... Wait, is this whole thing full? No, okay. Did I get a mending book in here? Can't remember if I did or not. Ah, uh, no. Well, that sucks. By the way, this is... Wait, no, I was using autofish. Yeah, I was using autofish. About to say, there's no way that's an AFK fish farm. So, no, that's an autofish farm. Or... Yeah, auto fish fish farm. Which still works. It's just you'd have to basically like surround this whole lake in a building. Cause, uh, or you'd have to surround build a building in an ocean. Like right here. Cause you, other than that, it's been nerfed. That's the only way you would do it. And actually get the old loot. Ooh. Okay, wait. So where's the... But yeah, this is a cool design. I don't know. 
why I didn't put a uh, lapis chest in here, though. That's kind of stupid that I didn't do that, but... Oh, well. But yeah. I think we... For two episodes and a live stream, we didn't do too bad. And then there's this, which is my mine hut, which has a... Which is basically made so when I come up from mining, I can sleep if it's night. And oh, my favorite, an action, a cow crusher. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, this is, they're not ready to breed yet. Huh, that looks kind of like a bell, doesn't it? Yeah, I had fun in this. We did a lot of uh, exploring. I don't think I have a map to show that because I think I just went off in one direction and did it that way. Ooh, buried, buried, buried treasure map. <laughs> Not sure what I was saying. I think I just uh, messed my words up. I don't think I have a map to show anything like that. Dyke. Find a pillager outpost, or... Nah, I must have just been raid captains I killed or something. There's no there's no way I found an outpost in this. I wonder what that's for. Put that away, I guess. And, uh... Yeah, show you something very, very... <coughs> unremarkable, I guess. But, actually, this seed was fairly good. And this will show you why. You come down here. Oh, there's emeralds. Ooh. Yeah, here's the strip mine. Did I go to the nether? If I did, there's probably a nether portal over here or something like that. To make it more resource friendly. Nah, I didn't. I almost never use these. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this world was better than I thought. Yep, there's my fishing rod. Lure 3, Luck of the Sea 3, and Curse of Vanishing. Great fishing rod, but if you die, you lose it. Yeah, okay. Oh, and then a clock, so I knew it. W so I knew if it was night. Smart, but yeah, I didn't do too terribly much in the time I actually played in this world. Kind of unremarkable compared to um, the last one. Compared to uh, my. Uh, Single player survival world from 1.12. Kind of unremarkable compared to that, so. But yeah. That that has been uh, literally every Let's Play world I've done for the last few years. Well, single player Let's Play world, anyway. But yeah, it's been the. Uh, literally all of them for the last few years. So, yeah. That being that, I've been confined to 681. I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.